Head rate, modular C301, uh, March 2011. Mass watch, all in purple, in circles. What is two? 23,760 to three different figures. So from the left, I want it to the nearest 100. Six rounds up, so it's got to be 23,800. Jay measured the length of the pencil case. It's 31 centimetres correct to the nearest centimetre. What is the greatest length her pencil case could be? So nearest centimetre means that 30.5 to 31 to 31.5 31.5 would be my upper bound, so it has to be A. In three, factorize Y squared of 8Y. Common factor is Y. What do I have to times Y by to get back to Y squared? Y. I have to times Y by to get back to 8Y. Eight, 8. Y bracket, Y plus 8, close bracket. C. Question four. I'm going to times both of these by... 10. So I'm going to do 0 0.48 divided by 3. I could technically divide it by another 100 if I wished, but it's not the point. So 48 divided by 3 is 16. So 0 0.48 divided by 3 is going to be 0 0.16. C. There are six pens in a box of pens, 12 pencils in a box of pencils. X boxes of pens, Y boxes of pencils, an expression for the total number of pens and pencils that ran by. So it should be 6X add 12Y, 6X add 12Y, B. Question six, point N has coordinates 43, the coordinates of point P. So what we should be able to see here is that P is on the same level as N, except for its x-axis change. So the first number's got to start with zero. It's still gonna go two up. It's still gonna go three out. So I want zero, two, three, four, C. Question seven. Common difference between all terms is add four. So it's got to start with four N. If I oppose 4n and take away 4, 7 take away 4 is positive 3. 4n add 3. B. 8. Add the coordinates together. Divide by 2 because it's the midpoint. So negative 3. Add 7. Divided by 2. 1 add 5. Divided by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 2, 3. C. Lowest common multiple is the times table the value in which both line up. So I want to write out the times table of 24. So 24, 48, 72, 96, 120. I'll stop. 36, 72. Oh, here we go. Matching pair. E. 10. Sandy drove 150 miles in two hours and 30 minutes. What was her average speed in miles per hour? So obviously two hours, 30 minutes is equal to 2.5 hours, because 30 minutes is half an hour. My job is to do 150 divided by 2.5 or 1,500 divided by 25. So what number when multiplied by 2.5 gets back to 150? It's gonna be 60, because 60 add 60 add half of 60 is gonna be back to 150, so it must be B. Trapezium, area of a trapezium is the top width, add the bottom width, divided by two, because we're trying to find an average, multiplied by how tall it is, 30, add six is 36, divided by two, which is 18. 18 times by seven is the same as 70, add 56, for 126 centimeters squared, 126. D. Question 12, estimating. I need them all to one significant figure. So 21.9 will become 20. 5.13 will become 5. 4.19 will become 4. 1.98 will become 2. So I've got 100 divided by 2 for 50. So it should be A. Thirteen. Collecting like terms. These are the same. These are the same. 
and then this and this are the same. 5a take away a is 4a, 3b take away 6b is negative 3b, 4a minus 3b, d. Factorise completely. 2 is a factor of both, x squared is also a factor of both, so I need to take out 2x squared from both of them. 2x squared multiplied by x gets me back to 2x cubed. 2x squared multiplied by negative 3 gets me back to 6x squared. We will expand. x times x is x squared. 3 times x is 3x. Negative 4 multiplied by x is negative 4x. 3 multiplied by negative 4 is negative 12. These are the same, so 3 take away 4 is negative 1. So x squared minus x minus 12. x squared minus x minus 12. E. And then what is 8.26 times by 10 to the 5 as an ordinary number? So ordinary number just means in its regular form, in the way that you would write them usually, outside of standard form. So 10 to the 5 is 1 followed by 5 zeros. So I need to do 8.26 multiplied by 5 zeros. So it should be 8 followed by 5 individual places, where this one will feature a 2 and a 6, and then there should be some zeros. So it should be 826,000. 826,000, D. 17, train travels at speed of 150 miles per hour. How long in seconds does it take to travel a distance of one mile? So 150 miles per hour, I need to try and change that to 150 miles per minute. So I need to divide this by 60. And technically you've already done a question that involved the same calculation. So it's miles per minute here, which is 2.5. I could divide both of them by 2.5 again, if I wished. That's probably the easiest way. So obviously I'm then gonna get one mile at the front if I divide this by 2.5. And then 60 seconds divided by 2.5 is gonna give me 24. Because 24 and 24 and half of 24 is gonna get me back to 60. And because it wants it in seconds, it's gonna be 24. 19, what is 0 0.035 when written in standard form? So it's going to start with 3.5 because the number at the front has got to be between 1 and 10. It's going to be multiplied by 10. This number is less than 1, so the power will be negative. If I move the decimal place back, which for standard form I'm not technically you know, having an issue with, I've gone back two spaces, so it must be negative 2. B, 3.5 times by 10 to the negative 2. 19. Right, always draw north lines when it comes to bearings. So I'm going to draw a north line there. These north lines are both parallel, which means that I now technically know this angle and this angle, because they're co interior angles. These are parallel, which means that this angle here is 100. What is the bearing of R from Q? So I want Q to R. So I want this bearing here. Angles around a point add up to 360 degrees. So I need to do 360, take away 220 for 140. All right, question 20. Got some fractions as mixed numbers. Need to change them into improper fractions and then solve the answer. So this is going to become 3 times 3 and 1, 10 over 3. Okay, that's divide for now. 1 times 5 add 1, 6 fifths. This is going to be equal to 10 over 3 multiplied by the reciprocal, which is going to give me 50 over 18. I can simplify 50 over 18 to 25 over 9. Now 25 over 9 isn't an option, so I must need convert this into a mixed number. So 9 goes into 25 two times with a remainder of 7, so it must be 2 and 7 ninths. Almost there. 21. Point P has coordinates 4, 3, 5. What are the coordinates of the midpoint of the line segment A? B. So obviously B here I can show that it goes along the X and the Z axis, so this should be 4, 0, 5. This A point here has only gone to the Y axis, so this is going to be 0, 3, 0. So I need to find the difference between 4 and 0 and then halve it, 3 and 0 and then halve it, and then 5 and 0 and then halve it. So 4 add 0 divided by 2 is 2. 3 add 0 divided by 2 is 1.5. 0 and 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. This obviously features halves, but 
That is the one it wants. 22. Factorise. So, two and one are the only factors of two. A negative followed by a positive, which means that these have both got to be negative. And then factors of 20 are going to be one times by 20, two times by 10, four times by five. Well, which of those is going to add to negative 13? when I multiply one of them by two. So four times by two, add five, gets me to 13. So we must have a four here and a five here. So two X minus five, X minus four. So it's got to be E. Final three questions, 23. 10 meters cubed of concrete in a lorry. Lorry pumps out the concrete at a constant rate. It takes three minutes, 20 seconds to pump all the concrete. What the rate in meters cubed per second is the lorry pumping out the concrete. So first of all, I need to convert my three minutes and 20 seconds into just seconds. So three minutes is 180 seconds, add 20 is 200 seconds. I need to do 10 divided by 200 seconds because that's how long it takes to empty the whole vehicle. That's the same as one over 20, and one over 20 is a decimal is 0 0.05. So it must be C. And expand for simplify. Squared means I need to multiply out the bracket by itself. So I should start by writing out the bracket again. 3x multiplied by 3x is 9x squared. 4 times by 3 is 12 times by 2, so negative 24xy. Negative, negative, positive, 16y squared. 9x squared minus 24xy and 16y squared must be d. And then our final one. Which of these is a factor of 6x squared minus 13x add 6? So this will factorise to 3x and 2x. Again, negative followed by a positive, so both of them are negative. And then I want negative 13. So 3 times 3, 2 times 2 is 13. So 3 multiplied by negative 3, take away 2 times by negative 2 is going to get us back to our negative 13. What's the one that appears underneath? B. And that's the end.